Hope for Life with Bob Lenz, an inspiring message for your busy day. The Bible says in 2 Timothy 2, 25 and 26, they should gently teach those who oppose the truth. Perhaps God will change the people's hearts and they will believe the truth. Then they will come to their senses and escape from the devil's trap, for they have been held captive to do whatever he wants. I stand amazed at Christians who are shocked when the world are doing irrational, illogical, or ungodly things. What are we expecting for them to do? Fishermen's fish, sinners sin. Does not the scripture show us that an unbeliever is held captive by the enemy to do whatever he wants? How can you expect those who walk in darkness to comprehend the light? How can you expect those who are prisoners to sin to live righteously? As a church, we are not to stand in amazement far off from these people, but rather to gently teach those who oppose the truth. Gently teach, not mock, not ridicule, not defame. Because of our gentleness and our lifestyle, there's a possibility that God will change their hearts and they will believe the truth. Then they will come to their senses and come to know the love of God. Those who do not believe the truth cannot come to their senses, for they have been held captive by the enemy to do whatever he wants. Get it? May our prayer today be this. Father, help me to understand why the unbeliever thinks and behaves the way they do. Help me to realize it's by gentle teaching and example that they may be reached. Oh, Father, give me a gentle and humble spirit like Jesus, and then help me to see things the way you do. This has been Hope for Life with Bob Lenz. Discover more at lifepromotions.org.